Welcome everybody to this new video of TechPress. Today we're going to be showing you to add Striped to your Shopify store using the latest and updated method in the 2024. To get started, you need two things. A Stripe account and a Shopify account. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, just in case you haven't get started with Shopify. So you can have your website totally for free. Once you have your actual website, you're going to see the actual dashboard inside of Shopify. So here is a to-do list of stuff. What I wanted to do today is to add in a specific payment method. So let's go here inside settings. Inside settings, let's go and look out for payments. Now that you located payments, it's gonna be asking you to locate the Shopify payments, additional payment method, and much more. Today, we wanted to add Stripe only. So in this case, instead of going with complete account setup or PayPal or whatever, let's type manage. Here, usually what everybody does, just in case you are not based inside the United States, is gonna be asking you to add a third party payment provider. If you are inside the United States, it's gonna be asking you to get started with Shopify. But if you wanted to get started only with Stripe, let's go and scroll all the way down and choose switch to a third party provider. So we can deactivate the Shopify payments. Now that we are in here, what you wanted to do is to click here and look out for the actual third party you wanted to get started with. In this case, it's gonna be Stripe. If you don't find the Stripe, you can go here into the payment provider and look out, I'm gonna go back of course and look out for the actual application directly inside the Shopify app store. Now that I've deactivated the actual provider of the Shopify, I can go and choose a provider. And usually it's gonna be appearing here at the Stripe. So I choose a Stripe and automatically it's gonna be sending me directly into the Shopify partnership with Stripe for secure payments. This is the part where you wanted to get started with connecting and set it up your Stripe account. If you already have a Stripe account, just click into connect by logging in but if not you can click into set up stripe now in this case what i want to do is to get started with an actual email as well as a passcode and then hit now into continue now it's going to be asking you to select the account you'd like to connect to shopify let's go and look out for create a new account now it's going to be asking you for the business location and the type of business so later on and verify your personal details. Now, if you don't have a website, you can share your profile from Shopify or a professional social media profile. So for example, I'm gonna go here and copy the Shopify that I currently have, the URL that I currently have. It doesn't matter if this is provided by Shopify. Just tell that you actually are selling stuff here into Shopify. How is gonna appear in here your statement description? For example, if our website is called uh, Bulgar, I'm going to go back here and let's go for full guard, for example, like this. And the shortened description, let's say Bulga store. With the connection established, the customization of the try setting should be done right away. So choosing the type of credit cards you wanted to accept, setting up additional payment methods of this desired, and configure any relevant preferences, step to tailor here inside this uh, Stripe integration to feed up with business needs. So just go here into Stripe and go for managed. Now that we are inside here, let's say that we want to accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Apple Pay. And then we're actually good to go. Lastly, let's go and test transactions and go live. Before making this live, we can test the waters and the Shopify payment settings inside the test mode toggle. See that we have the simulate successful and failed transactions. So you want to enable this test mode. When the test mode is on, all the Stripe transactions are simulated. So go here and to saved. So you can safely uh, add in a specific test mode to see if this one actually is working well or not. Stay tuned for this additional tips. So let's go here. Lastly, if I hit now here into my only store, I'm gonna hit into customize. Now here into customize, what I do wanted to do is to find down here the folder. Inside the folder, I wanted to make sure that I go all the way down and go and accept and show the payment icons into my website. So everybody knows what are the actual elements that I do accept into my website. After that, I'm gonna hit now into save. And then we're actually good to go. Our website now has enabled the actual Stripe. Just in case you have any question, you can always contact Stripe. And that will be actually it, guys. Successfully, we have just added Stripe into our website. So guys, if you find this guide helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify insights, and hit that notification bell. Thank you for joining us today here to see with the transaction guys with Stripe onto the Shopify store. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.